Hello and welcome. My name is Mr. Hollyfield and I run the uh, BTEC Level 2 Certificate in Public Services. So who are the public services? Public services are any organisation that wears a uniform or serves the public. So there's a wide range of organisations uh, involved. These are some of them. We've got uh, the Marines, the Police, the Navy, the Fire Service, Coast Guard, RAF, Paramedics, uh, and so on. But there are lots and lots and lots of organisations involved in the public services. During the course, we'll do five five units. Uh, the first one is public service skills. So we'll be looking at uh, developing communication skills, problem solving, decision making, that those sort of things, and also personal skills such as uh, having a pride in your appearance, your punctuality and those things. All those things are really important uh, in the public services. We also look at employment in the public services. So we look at um, uh, the armed services which is the RAF, the Navy and the um, Army. We look at all the different uh, career opportunities within those services and the specialisations and we'll also look at some of the blue light uh, emergency services, the police, the fire, the um, ambulance uh, and, and so on. And then there's other public services then such as the prison service, um, security guards, social workers, uh, all those as well. So we look at uh, a lot of those, look at what the job entails, look at um, what qualifications you need and some of the roles and responsibilities they have. So hopefully pupils have a good understanding of what career they, they, um, they'd like to go after. Third one is health and fitness. So in this unit we look at improving health and fitness. We look at nutrition, uh, lifestyle and pupils will develop their own individual uh, training program uh, to, do, to improve different aspects of their fitness. Uh, unit four is leadership and teamwork. So in this we do lots and lots of team building games and challenges where pupils will be work as part of a team, part of a team, or they may be um, asked to lead one of the one of the, cha one of the, cha one of the challenges. So that's a, that's a good it's uh, a good unit for developing confidence and developing the teamwork and skills because we evaluate each task, evaluate individual performance, team performances, and basically we get better and better as the as the unit gets on, more effective as a team. Uh, number five is sport and recreation. This looks at lots of different, playing lots of different sports to keep fit um, and the benefits of um, adventurous training uh, which, we're, which we're quite keen on so, um, and the effect it has on teams such as improving team spirit and camaraderie and generally keeping fit basically. So those are all the units, uh, 1 to 5. So what will we learn during this course? What we've seen so far is pupils developing the teamwork and skills, their communication skills, their leadership skills and improving their health and fitness. And what we found is these are all skills and qualities that are essential in all employment. So any job people apply for, you've got to have these got to have these skills and it looks good on your C V that you have you have actually worked on these and improved them. Uh, as I said, adventurous training is quite um, high on the agenda. We've been in lots of different act training activities, uh, team building, like gorge walking, mountain biking, hill walking, personal development, orienteering, climbing, airsoft games, um, forces training, quad biking, archery, surf, surfing, canoeing, and there's a few more which could go on there as well. But we, we are very keen to take the pupils out um, to, to experience um, adventurous training. So, final slide here. The public service course is equivalent to a GCSE. Passing the course will enable you to study public services at college at a higher level. So it'll be up to um, level three, which is like a level standard. It's vocation. The course is vocational, so that means there's lots of practical acti activities. So a lot of pupils on this course learn learn by doing things, not just sitting in a classroom uh, doing theory. You don't have to be good at sport or super fit to do this course, you just need to be willing to get up and have a go, have a crack and just get better. Another beauty of the course is that there are no exams, it's all coursework. 
so it's you get distinction, merit, pass or fail but it's not really a fail because if you do fail then I'll show you where you've gone wrong uh, I'll show pupils where they've gone wrong and they just change it and then becomes a pass basically so there's no not really a pass or fail you just if you fail you just correct it so final motto here is uh, choose public services be the best you can be and if you look at this here these are all the things we're looking to improve on this course Thank you for your time. If you need any if you need to ask any more questions, please contact me, uh, Keith Hollyfield, teacher of public services, Pontotillas Comprehensive School. Thank you very much. Bye.